Hey guys, it's Hannah. Um, so as you know, it's audition season for us dancers, and so I decided to do a review on the summer intensive that I've been to. Um, today's video will be about Hair Conservatory. Hair Conservatory is one of the top ballet schools in the country. Um, their dancers go to all different companies all around the world. Um, they have a very good reputation for producing strong, healthy, well-rounded dancers. Now, into the good stuff. So tell me a little about the training here. Well, I'll tell you, Jacob. Uh, training at Hair Conservatory is strict for Ghana. Some dancers might feel a little bit timid about that, but I think it's a good thing for all ballet dancers to do a little bit of it because it's very strong technique to learn. You know, you seem very excited about that. I am very excited, Jacob. So why don't you tell me a little bit about this partnering thing because I'm your boyfriend and I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Well, don't worry, honey. There ain't nothing over you, I promise. Yeah, sure. Every level, at, there are three levels of hair conservatory and all three of them get partnering with the boys at least once a week. But you don't have anything to worry about. They're just picking me up over their head. It's fine. Really? Okay. Uh, what kind of dancing is there going to be? Well, besides ballet, some levels will get variations, and we'll also be doing modern, jazz, character. Um, they also teach piano there, and nutrition, and injury prevention. How are the teachers? Do they have any, like, are they, are they good? The teachers, I believe, are absolutely fantastic. They really care about you as an individual dancer. If you need to ask them a question, they will answer it for you. That's good. Is there any like kind of performance at the end where you get to dance and show off yourself to everyone? Yes, actually, we do get to show ourselves off to everyone at the end. Uh, how the facilities? That we stay? Or that well, we dance? That you dance. Alright, well, the studios are large and spacious. They're also sunlit. So when you're dancing, the sun's coming in, you just feel so. Uh, how's the, f the experience? Tell me more about the experience. Well, when you're dancing there, you walk through and, oh, one of the very cool things is they have pictures of every graduated year at Harrod, and also every summer since of year at Harrod. So when you're walking down, you can go way back to the very first year they had Harrod Conservatory open. And if you go there, then your picture's going to be on that wall, too. And the studios, there's usually live music live music and the sun and everyone working so hard it just feels it feels so nice it makes you want to work it makes you want to do well and how are the living conditions well there's a boy side and a girl side um, there's usually about three people per room but don't worry because the rooms are pretty big and there's enough bedding and closets and drawers for everyone and every room has its own shower along with of course bathroom and counter with a big mirror which is totally awesome um, and there's enough plug-ins for you to like straighten your hair or iPhone, iPhone charger is everything kind of like <clears throat> far away or I mean it's not a problem for me because you know, I'm always running but <laughs> for balance well everything is pretty close together you won't have to run a mile to your classroom and then back to your dorms again everything's right there which is very nice for people like me who would forgot lots of things, so I forget something and then I just run over to my dorm and then run back over to the So Hannah, I'm kind of wondering about the food, you know, I'm a soccer player and I like to eat my food, so is the food any good? Yeah, actually, um, everyone loved the food, they let us eat as much as we wanted, so no one starved and everyone was really happy. Watch out for the pita bread though, because you'll get addicted to it because it's really good. What if I'm a vegetarian? Um, there's usually, actually for lunch and dinner, there's always a nice salad bar out, or you need salad, and of course, they have great food for any dietary needs. Right, oh, good. also, one of the great things about the dorms is that each room has its own air conditioning. So if you like it cold, you can have it cold or hot, you can have it hot. It was awesome. Let's cut you off right there. I'm running out of time. <laughs> so, what do you do when you're done ballet? Well, after we're done dancing, Jacob, we will we might go back with our friends and make cookies in the kitchen, or we'll go hang out in the lounge or co-ed lounge and watch movies, or just lay on the couch and sometimes stretch together. There 
was also, when I was there, there was a workout room sometimes, so we'd all go and burn some calories. Are the staff friendly? Yes, actually, they're very nice. They are definitely there for you if you ever need anything, need someone to talk to. Um, they, by the end of the intensive, they really just feel like family. They're very open and honest and just really great people. That's good, but, you know, I'm your family, too. I know. And I'll be waiting. I'm not replacing you, I promise. All right. So, uh, I heard some rumors about chores or something that you have to do when you go there. Um, yes. Um, they do give out chores. You'll be assigned one. But they aren't, like, you're not like a slave or anything. And they aren't hard. I had to wash one window. And one of my friends had to vacuum a little, one little space. It's really not hard. And it also encourages everyone to keep the place clean because you know you're going to have to clean it that night. But it's not anything hard or difficult. It's really easy. Good. We don't want to end up like Annie. Mm. <sighs> Anyways, <clears throat> do you get to, like, explore Boca Raton? Um, yes. If you sign out with enough of your friends, they will let you walk or you have to tell them where you're going. And if you say want to go to Starbucks or Panera, and there's enough of you, they will actually drive you there and pick you up at a certain time, which I thought was very nice. So did you get to go on any cool adventures? Yes, actually. We got to go to the zoo, the mall. Um, sometimes during the week or on the weekend, they would take us to the beach. They had what was called a family night where they would take us all out, and we went to the beach, and we ate pizza. It was really great because we all got to know each other really well. So, Hannah, yeah, tell me a little bit about how the Herod Conservatory Intensive helped improve your ability. Well, um, the Herod Conservatory, especially in the first few days, they really focus on the little things. How to hold your hand how to use your head, how to point your foot. And you realize no one's ever really taught you those things. They just say, point your foot, hold your arm, turn your head. They don't tell you how to do it. That sounds good, but I'm very hungry and famished. And I think it's time to end this interview. All right, Jacob, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, I have to go and give him food. And I'll see you guys later. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe and post comments if you have any more questions or Bye. comments. Let me know. Bye guys.